Are you ever out in the world going about your life when suddenly a sexy impulsive thought pops into your mind? What if you snuck off somewhere to do it outdoors where someone might catch you or in between the stacks at the library where you have to be quiet? With Dipsy, you can put on your headphones and do it anywhere. You can now listen to spicy audios by your favorite TikTok creators. They're attentive to your every need, prioritize your pleasure, and have voices that will make you melt. New content is released every week, so in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. They also have soothing sleep stories, wellness sessions, and sexy written stories to read. For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash pretty. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash pretty. Dipsystories.com slash pretty. Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Pretty Not Smart with your <laughs> host, Shigo, and aka Yoatsi. I don't know what I am. Uh, am what am I? A ninja? Yeah, I'm supposed to be a ninja, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, so when we showed up... <gasps> Let me take off my mask. I know. I was like, uh, yeah, Mori, you're going to film with that. Okay, no. <laughs> On so, COVID again. <laughs> 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 no, so when we showed up, I didn't have my costume on, you guys. And Yotsi was staring at me like, are you fucking serious right now? Because I imagine I pull up in my car with this full gear on. <laughs> I was like ready to go. And she's like, did you forget we're supposed to wear costumes? And then I was like, dude, I couldn't find them. And he was all <laughs> serious. You got better at lying, Louis. And she was like, dude, look at what I'm wearing. And then I was like, <gasps> I was like, well, and I was like, well, it'll like fit the vibe. <laughs> I was wearing he was my just wearing a black tee with sweats. <laughs> and she's like, you should have told me I could have brought you something. I'm like, hi, look right now. I was like. <laughs> and then she's all opening the door to come in. I'll piss. And I just bring out my costume. And I was like, fuck you. <laughs> so for uh, real. So Yuatsi is. She go. In case you guys are listening and not watching, we are dressed in Halloween costumes. And we're going to continue to do that all throughout spooky season because it is yeah. spooky season. And I'm a ninja. And I have this little thing I had. My earring. Uh-huh. I'm like, I'm gonna show it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys. Um, I've just found these costumes in my closet. I swear I'll do better as the ask month them, goes by. Ask what? Them if they've noticed. Uh, tell them to leave the episode. <laughs> <laughs> so we also decorated for <laughs> spooky season. They're like, oh, it's horrible, man. <laughs> They're like, did you? Or are you just haven't filmed in a while. <laughs> All the, spider yeah, webs. the spider webs and we're like oh no you guys we're so excited for spooky season yes. so like Yoatsi said we're gonna if you're watching we're dressing up every episode and and yeah well the theme just this whole month i'm so excited we're gonna be i love spooky season too. um and that's why i'm excited for today's episode because it's a spooky episode y'all so <laughs> <y'all know. laughs> just all the sound effects <laughs> Um, as you guys remember, Yahtzee and I told y'all some of our scary ass stories and a bunch of y'all were leaving your scary stories in the comments. So Yahtzee had the brilliant idea to have you guys submit your scary stories into yeah. our email. If you don't follow us on Instagram, pretty not smart, yeah. then you don't know about this. But we asked you guys to submit some scary stories so we can react to them live. <laughs> and I'm scared, dude, but I I'm love scary scared, stories. And I'm really thankful for you guys because dude, Louis, I, he didn't look, but there was so really? many stories. Like, you guys came through. You guys really, like, went all out and sent so many stories. And I'm going to be honest. I had to pick them, so I skimmed through them. So I kind of know what's up, but I don't know what's up. And Louis is like, no idea what's going on. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on, but we're going to read them in detail. In detail. Because I just skimmed, and I just saw one scary thing, and I was like, perfect. And then we have to rate it, like, one through five, how scary we think it is. Okay. So grab your popcorn. <laughs> grab your snacks. Grab and your hombres chile. Hopefully. Ah, they're like. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, all like sick no, shit. No, grab the little hand. They're like. <laughs> <laughs> they're like this. They're like, give me this. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Make sure to watch this at nighttime with the lights off. Uh, uh-huh, and your Ouija board. No, <laughs> bitch. bitch. All right. Me holding my partner's hand. <laughs> you, like, you're holding hands the whole episode. Okay, it's all like my support system. We also got um spooky season squishies. <gasps> this looks like part of your costume. <laughs> Wait, bitch, just my hand. Put your hand in there. 
Ew. I'm like, <laughs> it all I'm matches like, you all perfect. I'm like, all right, so we're going to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, my precious. Yeah, it's my good hand. <laughs> bitch. Give me that shit. Ew. Okay, so what's the word of the year? We do have a word of the year, you guys. And, um, oh, fuck, I lost it. Bitch. Uh, talk to them while I find it. No, you guys, um, my costume was really last minute. I don't even have time to like fucking tie this shit around my arms. So I swear it'll be better next time, you guys. But this is something cute for now. Give I'm me nervous. Some ideas. I can't find it. You can't just go to the comment section and find a fucking word that people comment. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. Give me some costume ideas because I'm low key not having my costume ideas running through my head right now. And it's kind of making me freak out because there's so many Halloween stuff going on. Okay, I got it. Okay. I found it. <clears throat> what is that? All right. So this one is called. <laughs> this one is called. Bitch. Her name is. This one is called, bitch. <laughs> Y'all calling it. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is from Cynthia <clears throat> Cardenas 5325. Okay. She said to spell accommodate. Bitch. She said, yeah, tell him to spell accommodate. I'm definitely getting this one wrong. Try your best. A. C O M A D A T E. You were close. The D A T E was perfect at the end. Here, it's just the last part. <laughs> I know. It's A C C O M M O D A T E. Oh, <laughs> hell fuck? no. G T F O. That is so dumb. Spell Halloween, Louis. H A L L O W E E N. Wow. Hello. Ready for spooky season. <laughs> All right, Louis. Are you ready to pee your pants? <laughs> no, bitch. Because of how scared you're going to be. These aren't even going to be scary. Do you want to do the honors of reading the first one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Bitch, I'm going to feel like fucking elementary school all over again doing popcorn reading. All right. Um, this one, just, I want to say, just read it from beginning to end. Well, no shit. Well, yeah, it's cause some, <clears throat> some people leave us cute little messages at the top. I don't get it. Anyways. Anyways, we're hopping so into the is, first one. Oh my God. What? Bitch, is this Arthea? I thought it was Arthea cause of the <laughs> name. Dude, the name. I don't yeah. want to say it. No, don't say the name. But when she commented, I was like, Thea? Because it has the same first name and last name yes. as Arthea. Okay. I looked it up. It's not Arthea. Bitch, well, it's not all in English. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to get him scared. All right. I'm okay, ready. So, we'll, we'll react to it as we read. And if you have anything to throw in there, two cents. <laughs> <clears throat> I was two and a half. Bitch, you don't Wait, know how to read. I was going to say, I'm really bad at reading. <laughs> I always mispronounce words, so if I fuck up, correct me. You're pretty not smart. Okay. I was two and a half months pregnant at this point. <gasps> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my pumpkin. Uh, <laughs> puta. Okay, two and a half months pregnant. One night, we're peacefully sleeping when we start hearing my stepdaughter, who was three at the time, giggle. <gasps> Ew, that would have already been. Oh. <laughs> my, go to sleep. She was three years old? Yeah. Okay, okay. She giggled again, and my boyfriend asked her, to lay down and sleep. I told him she is asleep. She continued to now laugh louder and say, I don't want to play. Ew. Ay, no, mami. Which my boyfriend immediately got up and woke her up, but she started crying and screaming, pointing at the closet. And there was <gasps> what? that the little girl started screaming and crying, pointing at the closet, saying that there was a cuckoo. Oh, hell no. Yeah, like that. That's already bad. I'm taking it off. No, I keep reading it. Well, bitch, the closet. Uh, it's all you coming out. <laughs> I'm the cuckoo. <laughs> no, I just don't like stories when there's things in the closets. I don't know why. I've always had a fear of like being watched. Because <gasps> like my Ew. bed used to be facing closets. So every time there'd be like a little crack open, I'd be like. Ugh! You just see a little eye. Like, yes, I feel Ew. like I will see an eye. Okay. At this point, I'm about to start crying with her. We obviously turn on all the lights and TV. She wouldn't stop crying for like 20 minutes of being held by my boyfriend. She then says, ya no está el cucuy. <gasps> Bitch, fuck that. So the little girl was sleeping and saying, I don't want to play. When they woke her up, she immediately like pointed <gasps> at the closet and was saying, Oh, like, that gave cucuy. me goosebumps. 
She's like, bitch, I'm still hella freaking out and trying to put myself to sleep. I'm thinking I'm dreaming, but could have sworn I clearly heard people laugh and someone say, te vamos a matar a tu bebé, bitch. Oh, hell no. The baby that she was pregnant with? Oh, I forgot she was She pregnant. was pregnant. She's two months pregnant. Wait, so now I'm confused. So so she heard that. She heard somebody say that. After her daughter was like saying the cuckoo vibes? Uh-huh. Oh, hell no. Or I think like during all of that, she heard it. I started crying so bad. As I'm again trying to sleep, I start dreaming. I'm in a puddle of blood, bitch. Oh my God, that must be terrifying. Like as you're pregnant and having something like that in Ew. your head. I again wake up at this point and I'm done sleeping. I'm just waiting for the sun to come up. My boyfriend had to start getting ready for work since he was scheduled at 430 that Aww. morning. I'm completely wide awake as I'm still super scared. In the morning, when my 10-year-old son wakes up, he tells me he wasn't sure if he was dreaming, but he heard a lot of footsteps and voices all around the house. Bitch. So, like, literally everybody was experiencing, ex- oh my God. experiencing something. Okay. Okay, so I'm in complete shock. We were all dreaming, or were las brujas in my house? Bitch, that's scary, because if one person <gasps> is having, like, a little moment, you're just like, okay, bad dream. Yeah. But, bitch, all three of them. No, there was definitely brujas or something in our house. That's scary. There's more? Yes. I have a three-month follow-up to check up on my baby. I found out my baby... Wait, what? Job longer has a heartbeat? No longer? Oh, my God. She put Job longer, but she... Oh, my God. She probably meant no longer. (gasps) Bitch. Okay, after the ultrasounds, the doctor determined my baby could have stopped having a heartbeat two weeks ago? (gasps) Oh, my God. Which would have been exactly that night all these things happened. <gasps> oh my God, I was not expecting the story to turn into this. Oh my gosh. I'm forever traumatized because I low-key do believe witches will try to take your babies. I bought a bunch of white candles and would light one every night. Y gracias a Dios ya no ha escuchado nada. <gasps> oh, Bitch, that's that is so terrifying. sad. I am so sorry for your loss, my love. <gasps> that is so scary, Wait, but dude. that like really gets you kind of thinking because like what the hell happened like her her three-year-old daughter was having nightmares was pointing at the and they always say that little kids see fantasmas like little kids always because they're so innocent they can see more things than like us yeah so maybe i don't know what the fuck but something was definitely there i'm knocking on one i don't claim any of the negative energy that we are putting on today's podcast i'm stopping this episode Uh, i'm done i'm leaving no that really has me like mind fuck because the fact that everybody was like experiencing and like seeing some sort of paranormal or hearing some shit and then that happens like baby no heartbeat and then it just so happens that it's around the same time that that all happened that is that is like mind fucking I heard too that in a lot of like witches scenarios and shit like that, that they always want like your first born male child. But she already had a daughter. That's what I was gonna say. Like at first I connected it to that, but then I was like, well, no, wait, she already had a son. I still like. Unless, like she said, that witches just come for kids, unless she just like got, like they picked her. That's scary. Do you believe in witches? Yes. Dude, same. But like, I obviously I feel like in movies and shit like that, I don't think they actually fly around in fucking brooms and shit, right? Well, you don't remember that video from Mexico about the bruja flying around all over Mexico? But I don't think they fly in brooms. How is she gonna make the broom fly? That video traumatized me when I was a little kid. The one by the mountains? Yeah. Ew, that one's so scary, bitch. If you guys haven't seen it, just look it up. uh, Mexico Bruja Flying. It on YouTube. It's so scary. Like I feel like brujas are real because there's obviously like good brujas and there's the bad brujas, the ones Uh that are messing with like dark energy and then the ones that are like healers and stuff like that. Yeah. So I feel like the whole broom thing is like added just to make it more like spooky. (laughs) But Make it more hocus pocus. Yeah, there you go. But like, that's scary. And I think the good brujas would be like the curanderas, no? Yeah, there you go. I feel like that's what it is. Curanderas. The curanderas. I'm going to share something with you guys that's spooky vibes about us. Or should we save it for another episode? No, don't make it about us. Or what? You're going to tell like the family part? No, bitch. Oh. About what they said when I went to go see the healer. And what she said about our, our history. That's what I'm saying. Our family. Well, you already oh fucking teased them. Just tell them. <laughs> That's scary. No, it's because remember I told you guys in one of our spooky episodes from the past that like I was getting followed by a shadow. Remember that? Mm-hmm. Well, the healer, she told me um, 
because I was like, did somebody do like brujería on me? Like, I'm so scared. And she was just like, no, nobody did witchcraft on you because um, I guess in our past, our ancestors, we have a line of like curanderas mm -hmm. in our family, in our family tree um, from Mexico. We have like curanderas and stuff and just like good vibes protecting us. So she said that all of that like magic and good vibes still protects us to this day and that it protects our bloodline so she was like if anyone tries to do witchcraft on you guys they like can't they're like they can't because you're like um your family tree and your ancestors are always watching and protecting you guys and i was like oh that's kind of thickening I know. but that definitely made me believe more <laughs> in like witches and stuff because i was like there's definitely if there's good there's bad and vice yeah. versa and then i got we told well you actually told my parents that and then my parents obviously gave us a little bit more like Cheese of our not cheese of our family, but you know a little bit more, more like insight, insight, which just makes things like a lot more crazier because obviously we didn't know anything about this, but yeah, yeah I guess we had a, a couple of curanderas, curanderas in our, family, in our side. family, and my dad was like, oh yeah, but maybe one day we'll not one day, hopefully in one of these episodes we'll be able to like dive we'll into dive it a little deeper. bit more, but yeah, that was yeah scary. that was a scary story that was that was i feel like a crazy one for the first one i know i think it was just for me i didn't expect it to turn into I did, yeah i didn't expect it to turn into something that insane but yeah can you fucking read the next one or no uh-uh <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> you're all taking forever i'm like hurry I'm i want the next scared. one okay oh yeah that the took a one? an unexpected turn like i thought i already knew where it was going but i guess not okay um <clears throat> This one says, hi, Louie and Yoatsi. My name is Cassandra, and I just want to say that I love the podcast. I look forward to it every week. Oh, thank I've been you. a fan for a long time now, and I'm so proud of the both of you. Oh, oh thank you, Cassandra. Ah, that's her scary story. We're like, ah! <laughs> oh <my> <laughs> we only run is the scariest one. Oh, shit. <laughs> you both always inspire me. And remind me que yo puedo hacer todo lo que yo quiera. Oh, que no cute. me rinde. Cuídense mucho. Love y'all. My oh. Insta username is Cassie713. Uh -huh. oh, thank, thank you, you so Cassie. much, Cassie. Um, and then starts. <clears throat> anyway, <coughs> this story didn't happen to me, but it happened to my madrina. And I think it's very scary. <laughs> no, not the oh, madrina. Oh, no, madrina. <laughs> we both said it. <laughs> like, once this happened to the madrina, you know it's over. But I feel like madrinas and tías will tell you the scariest yeah. stories. Like, like bitch, you know, my kid, I don't have to take care of you. <laughs> like, so, mira lo que me pasó, mija. Go, go, uh, go, okay, go, okay, go, okay, go. okay, 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 okay. When my madrina was young, she used to have her own room in the upstairs part of my abuelito's house. She said she had been up there by herself and seen shadow figures of this mm -mm. tall, skinny man with a hat for about a week just standing Bitch. by her closet while she was Louis. folding laundry. <laughs> it's on me back in 2015. Fuck you, all tall. All slender man. Like with a hat. Like a snapback. No, bitch. Like, think about Abraham Lincoln hat. Wait, how do you know she put that? No, but I see con una pinche snapback. Well, <laughs> El ghost con una snapback. Well, why would it be an Abraham Lincoln hat? Because I feel like ghosts are usually people from the past. So it's probably a little señor with a sombrero. I better keep reading, pues. A ver. Oh, we're all making fucking assumptions about the ghost. I know. What does he look like? Oh, I want to know. All right. She would yell at him to go away and that he would stay there and then go away every time. Also, the madrina would be like, Largate! Like, go away. Mm -hmm. At the end of that week, she went to bed one night, but she couldn't sleep. She felt someone watching her and then her body froze. Mm -mm. She said... She, she realized she couldn't move anything at all except for her eyes. Sleep paralysis. Sleep paralysis. Oh my God, no. Oh, I hell no. I life. hate, you've never experienced it? No, and I don't want to. Oh mm. my God. I hate sleep paralysis, Fuck you guys. That. Um, that's when she saw a pair. Oh, hell no. What? That's when she saw a pair of red eyes. Bitch. Looking at her from the edge of the bed. By where her feet were. Ew, fuck that. Literally just a pair of red eyes. Fuck that. Oh, hell no. She got really scared and closed her eyes, but then she felt the pair of eyes looking at her as if they were right next to her. Bitch. And they were. Yeah, oh fuck you. God, Why'd you no read it like that and look at me, bitch? <laughs> my eyes are all red. <laughs> Y'all like rolled back. <laughs> I'm like, <"Ugh."> fuck you. <laughs> bitch. I don't know. I have a really big fear of sleep paralysis. This is like I freaking me out. I have goosebumps right now. This is a good one, Cassandra. 
She opened her eyes to peek, and sure enough, the red eyes were next to her, just staring, floating closer. Ew. She got really scared and didn't know what else to do since she couldn't move the rest of her body, so she closed her eyes again. Fuck and that. empezó a rezar en su cabeza. Oh, she started praying. I would do. Well, like at that point, like you literally can't do anything if you have sleep paralysis. Oh my God. She had her eyes closed during the Padre Nuestro, pero during the Ave Maria, she opened her eyes a little bit and that's when she saw a bubble form around her, protecting her de los ojos malos. Oh, <gasps> oh I love that. Oh, I have a scalofrío. Me too. She kept rezando y con más confianza cuando vio que, la, que le estaba ayudando. So if you don't speak Spanish, she basically said that she kept praying and when she noticed that it was helping her, she just kept praying even more. The floating red eyes stayed on the side of her watching since it couldn't get through the bubble to her and eventually it disappeared. She said that that was the scariest thing she's ever experienced and she's had a lot of encounters with spirits. But after that, she went to sleep with my grandparents in their room downstairs because she didn't want to stay in her room. That's oh, scary, that's so dude. scary. I always, because I, I, I always hear about so many people having like sleep paralysis and are always... Is such a coincidence that like they end up seeing something. Yeah. So for me, since I've never experienced sleep paralysis, I'm always like, is it just a really realistic dream or are you actually like stuck? Let me tell you more about it, but let's go on a quick break. Uh -huh. <laughs> All commercial. I know. Are you ever out in the world going about your life when suddenly a sexy impulsive thought pops into your mind? What if you snuck off somewhere to do it outdoors where someone might catch you or in between the stacks at the library where you have to be quiet? With Dipsy, you can put on your headphones and do it anywhere. You can now listen to spicy audios by your favorite TikTok creators. They're attentive to your every need, prioritize your pleasure and have voices that will make you melt. New content is released every week, so in between listening to your favorite stories again and again, you can always find something new to explore. They also have soothing sleep stories, wellness sessions, and sexy written stories to read. For listeners of the show, Dipsy is offering an extended 30-day free trial when you go to dipsystories.com slash pretty. That's 30 days of full access for free when you go to D-I-P-S-E-A stories.com slash pretty. Dipsystories.com slash pretty. Well, now that we're back from our quick break, what I was going to say is yeah, that... of course, since I'm ready to start <laughs> filming, my love. I don't even have my earphones on. Okay, you were saying, stupid ass. I've had <clears throat> sleep paralysis multiple times, and annoyingly enough, it started happening to me when I started getting out of my antidepressants. So I don't know if that has anything to do with it. Uh -huh. But my antidepressants also caused me to have really vivid, realistic dreams. Mm. But in my... My like my last episode of sleep paralysis maybe happens like three months ago mm -hmm. and I was asleep and I just remember waking up and the room looked exactly like the room. So I was like, fuck, I'm awake, but I couldn't move my body. I could just move my eyes. Ew, I don't like that. And I was just like, fuck, nothing. I didn't see nothing scary, but I was just like scared. Mm -hmm. I was just really scared because like I I couldn't move and my eyes were like the only thing moving. And I just remember like looking across the room back and forth. And that's why when I was still living with Alex, I just remember turning like my eyes and Alex was next to me Ugh. and my heart was just racing like, like super fast. And then eventually I went back to sleep. Yeah. You see, cause I, I hear a lot of people, they'll be like, I have sleep paralysis. So I go back to sleep and when I wake up, I can move. Yeah. So sometimes I'm just like, okay, like, are you dreaming? It's just really vivid, realistic, or is it that, your mind is awake, but your body is still sleeping. Yeah. So actually I did some research and I, I re I found out that sleep paralysis is when your mind wakes up before your body. Yeah. Uh -huh. And you're just like, like it's not sending that signal to your brain. Like, let me move. Yeah. Cause but yeah, I hear scary. most people just like end up falling back asleep. Yeah. I never want to experience that. And it's so common. It's such a common thing. I hear so many people always like telling me that they experience that. I'm like, fuck no baby. I hope you don't. Cause in the moment, I, it's really weird. In the moment, I'm just like fucking scared shitless. Yeah, dude. Well, como no? And then in the morning, I'm like, oh, fuck. I had sleep paralysis last night. <laughs> Ew, I hate that. Okay. You ready for the next one? Yeah. Okay. Let me look it up for you. This is scary. I don't like these. 
I'm leaving. All right, here we go. Oh, this one even has a title. Ooh. The Man in White. It's on me in makeup. And that was a <laughs> Slender Man. <laughs> For real. He looked sickening. Dude, that was cool. Yeah, that, was like cool. That, one. that was like a good, I haven't seen somebody like. Do like a costume like that? Yeah, I don't know. That was iconic. It was cool. Okay. <clears throat> Wait, we should do that too. <gasps> Y'all let us know. We should like rate people's costumes <gasps> we should be sick that now we're all sick. talking shit <laughs> <We're> like, <"Ew." laughs> no okay so this is called the man in white <clears throat> when i was four years old ooh, that's scary already <laughs> all right uh-huh. no it's because it's crazy when like we said when something traumatic happens at a young age like that like you just remember it's like, all traumatizing yeah When I was four years old, me, my sister, and parents lived in a one-bedroom apartment where we would share one room. My parents slept in one bed while my sister and I slept on our bunk bed. All Louis and Yuati. I know. (laughs) While living there, we always heard all sorts of noises such as footsteps, stomps, objects, dragging, dishes, and more. Oh, I hate that. One night, I remember waking up from the sound of our living room table getting dragged across the room. Oh, Oh, hell no. That was a strong ghost. (laughs) I know. (laughs) Keep in mind, our living room was right outside of our bedroom. That night, my parents must have left the door wide open, which is how I heard everything loud and clear. At first, I thought I must have been no, wait. at first I thought it must have been my parents since they always woke up early in the morning to get ready for work. But as I looked to the side, I could see that they were both sound asleep. <laughs> my heart began to race as I wondered what was out there. As I laid there wide awake, I suddenly see a man, bitch, enter our room as he stood right in front of my bed watching me. Bitch, just like that? Oh my God, I hate that. Ew. Uh, I always remember him as a young man. Who was chub- Oh, I got goosebumps, puta. Ew. Okay. I always remember him as oh, shit. Oh. a young man who was chubby and dressed in white. I still remember the scared, frozen feeling my body felt that night when suddenly he waves at me. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I have goosebumps <laughs> all over my face. Why are you scared? Was that scared? Imagine somebody just standing there who you have no idea who the fuck oh, it is. Like, and they're just like morning. waving at you. Ew. I'm fuck. leaving. No, I literally have goosebumps. No, I have goosebumps too. I'm leaving. Uh, oh, hell no. Okay. Well, let me I couldn't to drive home alone. <laughs> me too. I couldn't think of anything to do other than to cover myself up and hope for him to leave. As I laid there, I was so afraid of uncovering myself, only thinking, what if he's right next to me? Oh, uh-huh. hell no. <gasps> Bitch, turns out I was right because at the moment, I felt a soft tap on my shoulder. <laughs> I remember starting to suffocate for air, but I was not going to uncover myself. Moments later, I decided to take a small peek in which he was no longer in the room. I couldn't believe what had happened to me. And of course, I had to tell my parents everything. They believed me. I wasn't, it wasn't until I grew older where they explained how the neighbor's 18-year-old son had passed away in a car accident on his way to work. Oh, my God. My parents were close to our neighbors and even when, oh, and even went to his open casket funeral when he had been dressed in a full white suit <gasps> my parents strongly believe it was him who i saw turns out him and his family lived in our one bedroom apartment before his passing oh my gosh later on moved to the two bedroom apartment next door after he was gone which explains why he was roaming around our place at the time as in today wait yeah as of today i have her- I have his sister on my social media and will constantly make posts about him when it's either his birthday or time of passing it's just crazy to me now to visually see his face and think it was <gasps> him who I saw. Oh, oh my God. God. That story got to me good. And then at the end, she just put me, he rest in peace. Oh, oh, I have goosebumps all over my fucking face. Dude, I have y'all. goosebumps all over my body. It's it's more, I feel like it's oh. more scary when it's connected to something realistic. Because, yes, like a death, for example. Because, for example, imagine she like saw that, whatever, but like nobody knew any inside information. You could just be like, what the fuck was that? But like, if somebody has like, oh, this happened here like i don't know someone used to live here and this and it just so happens to connect in that way that's when you're just like holy shit that and it looks so like scary. Uh, it looks <laughs> like he had no like 
bad intentions. I mean, oh, he it's was just, just like, saying hi. Oh, bitch. Well, obviously not. He was scaring the fuck out of her. But I'm saying, oh, like, right. they're just roaming around. Like, obviously, like, sometimes I heard that, like, souls, when they have, like, an unfinished, unfinished business. business or just feel like something wasn't finished before they're passing, they, like, linger around. Aww. But that's scary, dude. That's so scary. And I, I f- dude, I 100% believe in ghosts. I don't but, care. Like, here, they're real. Here's the thing. They're real. How do you, like, for example, in her case, how do you dif- differentiate? Mm-hmm. Or how can you tell if it's there's, like, an intruder or if it's a ghost? Because I feel like most of the time when I hear stories like this, when people see something, their first thought is, like, it's not like, oh, my God, it's an intruder. They're like, it's a ghost. And, like, how, how does our body know that, you know? Maybe what if it has to do with, like, energies? Because, yeah. like, <clears throat> we're very, our bodies are, we're full of energy. So I feel like we can sense the presence of a human. Mm-hmm. And then like when you, you know how like you're chilling, minding your life and then you can feel somebody staring at you. You're like, mm-hmm. bitch. Oh like, my God. Yes. You know, uh, that's like an energy that we true. can feel like automatically. So Genius. think about it. Maybe when our body sees something completely different, like a ghost, we probably already recognize that shit ain't human. Yeah. Uh, that motherfucker right there. <laughs> For real? Not He's like, that right? <laughs> so we can probably tell what it is, or That's smart, or just because famous. we're like super scared. Yeah, you're right. Because I've never seen like a that. ghost. I don't ever want to see a fucking. Ghost. I kind of do, but I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I want to say that, like, there, we probably feel the difference. That's true. Just feel the presence. Yeah, there's this. Um, there's this saying. I think my dad told us where it's like, "Don't be afraid." Of the dead, be, be more afraid, afraid of, of the living, of the living, uh-huh. because you know they can harm us and stuff. Like, I don't know how I, I remember feel about as that. kids. No, I remember as kids. Me and Louis, I don't remember what the fuck, but we were all scared. Maybe of a panteon or something. We were scared something. of something. And my dad's like, "No tengan miedo a los muertos. Los muertos no te van a hacer nada. Esos ya están muertos. ¿Qué te van a hacer nada? Be afraid of the la gente viva, like the b- bad people. Those people can actually kill you and hurt you. Los oh, muertos. So can people." No, I feel like once they're dead, if they don't have bad intentions, like unless they're demons and shit, like that's bad. But if it's just like a little ghost, uh, uh, a little cute one. No, if it's just like a little me. ghost, they might just want to mess around with us and scare us. But I don't think uh, maybe drag us around the room a little bit. Not like that. But like, <laughs> like you know, oh. you know how the ghost, how she said that the ghost was like, like tapped her. Ew, fuck that. And was like, hey, no. babes. I would have been like, don't play with me. Right. I feel like if I die before you, I'm going to scare you. Oh, bitch, fuck I'm no. going to come back and haunt you. No, ma'am. I'll yes, ma'am. do the Ouija board and send you back. <laughs> no, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna, gonna just put, hey, bitch, on the Ouija board. No, You're going to make it to Watsi. <laughs> hey, I'll die just to go haunt you back. Uh, we're all haunting each other back and forth. <laughs> I know. Because somebody else starts living in our studio. We're just staring there. <laughs> we're here. We're sitting down. We're like, we appear. I know. They walk in. We're just filming a podcast. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> we're like, what? <laughs> all goes. We're like, what? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Okay, next story. Oh, I read the next one. No shit. Oi. What? Okay, this one's called Yoatsi. <laughs> hey, Louis and Yoatsi. My name is Ashley. The Tis story down. is called <laughs> 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 Like Got Fabulous and a Simple Request. This was called Room of Movement. Room of Movement. Man. And she wanted a little shout out. Her Instagram is at S A N Z dot Ash 21. Okay. Okay. So all of this happened in 2015 and 2016. This is recent. I didn't really believe in the supernatural at all. My family is Christian, and well, you know, I'm Hispanic. <laughs> and Hispanic families, we like to brush things off. So. I bring a bad troubled teen. Oh, I was being a bad troubled teen at the time. And one day. <sighs> One day I was on FaceTime with a friend and I had a Ouija board in my closet. (laughs) So mamacita chula. But it's always Mm -hmm. the people who don't really believe in that shit. That That mess with that stuff. Ya ves? A ver, que te paso, hija de tu? I'm just kidding. (laughs) She literally put in little parentheses. My ass should have left it up there. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I decided to play it and can't read it doesn't make sense i decided to play it and i got nothing on the board yeah like nothing was like moving okay i would ask questions and it wouldn't move so i looked at my friend and i told her see this this shit isn't even real 
And I had my phone on top of my cajon and the cajones started opening. Bitch. And I left it off. So that same night when I was getting ready to go to bed, I was turning off the lights in my room. And then I turned off the TV last and I had one of those old big boxes TVs. And when I turned it off and put my back to it, it turned on. Uh. But I low-key gave me chills because it turned on to a scary movie. <gasps> Bitch. And of course, I still didn't believe it. So I went to bed and I woke up around 3, 3 oh, a.m. Of course, she woke up in the witching hour. Fuck. And it was weird because I never wake up at that time, the middle of the night. And when I opened my eyes, I felt like someone was sitting at the edge of my bed where my feet were. And I've kind of looked down. And honestly, I thought it was my little brother. I thought maybe he couldn't sleep. So I was like, what's wrong, buddy? Bitch, and she's all talking to the ghost. The ghost is like, you're supposed to be scared, lad. And she's like, what's wrong, babe? <laughs> and then a deep voice responded. Oh, hell no, bitch. Oh, I don't want to read it anymore. Imagine thinking it's like your little brother and a deep fucking voice responds. Oh, hell no. I got goosebumps. What is this? And then a deep voice responded, nothing. I like watching you sleep. <laughs> bitch, don't you. scream at well, don't read that shit like that. <laughs> Sydney. <laughs> Nothing. I like watching you sleep. Oh, my God, bitch. The amount of goosebumps I have right now. Oh, that is nasty. Hell dude. no. That is gross. <gasps> that would freak me, though. Oh. Imagine just like, nothing. I like <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> Bitch, <laughs> like that. Next story. Ay, vamos. Oh my god, no, I don't like that. You guys, I live alone. Don't. Do and this I to jumped me. up and ran to my mama's room. And when I closed the door to my mom's room, there was a big slam in my room. So when we got into my closet doors, oh, so when we go in, my closet doors were opened, and my cajon fell. And mind you, that cajon was like about 200 pounds. Three people had to put it up in my room. So after that, things started to get worse and worse. I would wake up with scratches or feel someone pulling my hair in my cl And in my closet, things would move, things would drop, my clothes and my shoes would disappear until I had turned 17 and moved out. My life was back to normal. Bitch. I just want to say something to every kid watching. Please don't ever play the Ouija board or anything that is to talk to the dead. Thank you for letting me tell my story. Sorry, it was long. It's okay. We like juicy Dude, long. Dude, that's scary. And you know what? Okay, who was the girl? What was her name again? Ashley. Ashley. I don't know if <clears throat> you did this or not, but I've never played the Ouija board. But there's rules to playing mm -hmm. the Ouija board. If you start playing that shit, you have to say bye. You have to like, I don't know how you do it, but you have to say bye to close portals. Because if you're playing it and you don't close the portals, you are literally basically like an open door. It's like, yeah, come in, come play. That's what I was going to say. Like, like starting to play, you like open that door. And like, even if they're not responding to you, like you, you give them like the welcome to go into. Where yes, you playing that shit is automatically being like, yes, welcome in. And it probably like stopped when she obviously moved because like. It probably stayed in that house. Probably. Like all the bad <laughs> I <laughs> All the bad bad vibes stayed there? Well, no, just like she opened the portal there, so like it stayed there. Oh, or I don't know if it ended up leaving or what the fuck. But yeah, you guys, like I don't fuck with the Ouija board. No, like, no, no. I, I don't fuck with anything like that. Like I I have friends who will like have had it before and like want to play and I'm just like, no thanks. So like I'll leave. Like you, I'm just not interested in it at all. You know what I think is so dumb? What? Like dumb dum 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 Us? <laughs> that too. No bitch. Remember at Toys R Us they had Ouija boards <gasps> for kids? Dude, that is so I will that doesn't make sense to me. No. Like it's known to be like a fucking devilish witchcraft game. So I remember we were little and at we Toys went R into Us. Toys R Us and we saw the Ouija board. Uh-huh. Because we were looking for board games. We yeah. loved board games when we were little. And then after that, I was like, oh. so I like freaked out. Right next to it, there was the princess one. Yes, a princess Ouija board, like all pink with it little was, unicorns. It was all the princesses in the front. And it was something like speak to your favorite princess or something yes. like that. And I was like, there is. And then there was like a boy version. I forgot what it was. But I was like, there is no way that like, because the original one was there. It obviously looks very demonic and yeah. whatever it is. And then right next to it, a cute little like princess one trying to like target two kids. Two little girls. And then there was a boy one targeted two little boys. And I'm like, who the fuck? Up? Like whether. Okay, look, like whether it's fucking real or it's not real. Something with that like 
background why would why you, would you yeah why would you put that in a kid store one and then two why would you like allow it to be licensed why to be would like anyone approve thing? that it was like, so it was so bad and then i remember me and we were like <gasps> and we showed our short we showed our parents yeah. we called my mom and dad and we're like look and they're like no 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 yeah. but it was just like insane to me that they were literally promoting it to little kids because if a little kid were to play that bitch they let everything in and they don't know how to play yeah because like i don't know if we already mentioned this but like my dad has like some really close friends with an experience with the ouija yeah. board so like that's why my parents are like no don't fucking get close to that shit like i don't uh -uh. care if don't even look at that shit yeah just like it's better to like not even try to associate or even be in the same room as like someone like playing with it yeah no if you see anybody about to pull out and play that shit leave like i don't give a shit if you're not gonna play don't even watch that shit like leave yeah, it's just don't no don't fuck with that and dude when i was shopping for halloween decor at like marshall's and home goods and everything they have a bunch of them everywhere I know I was at Home Goods and they had like the little like triangle, the one that you like move. It was yeah. just like a decor. And like even that, even if it's like decor, like I don't know. I, just, I don't feel uh -uh. comfortable having stuff like that in my house. No. And then I don't remember what movie, but there was a scary movie that they used <gasps> the circle of the. Uh. Why didn't you tell me the whole back of the <laughs> costume was open? I didn't know. Bitch, I'm all. All oh, hunchback. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> Bitch, I'm over here like filming like this. <laughs> Muted. You should have been the hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> Dude, my cousin. Bitch. <laughs> F you. Okay. Así quédate nadie ve. No wonder. I was like, why is this so chilly back here? <laughs> okay, no, what were you saying? Um, that in a movie, they use the little circle of the Ouija board to like look and you see like another dimension and shit. Oh, I didn't know that. Just, guys, don't fuck with that shit, okay? It's not worth it. It's not worth it. This one is called Yo <laughs> Okay. So one time when I was younger, my dad and I decided to go on a bike ride behind our house where there was a huge strawberry field with a track to walk on. Were you in uh, Watsonville? I was going to say it's on <laughs> Watsonville. Okay. We were riding our bikes, having a good time when we got to the other side of the track, which is next to the road where we saw a lady walking the track in a white dress with roses. I believe I was riding my bike in front of my dad. So I was able to see the lady look at my dad with an angry face, just staring at him. So keep in mind, the field is long and we were on our bikes, so we were able to go faster than the lady. So when we got to half of the field, we had to get off to cross because it had metal wires. So we had to cross it over. But before we crossed, I mentioned to my dad if he had seen how the lady looked at him and he said, yes, I saw. So we looked back to see if we could see her and she was no longer there. So my dad and I got scared and my dad said, should we go around and just see if we find her? Why would you guys go find her? Well, they probably didn't know it was a ghost. Why no? I wouldn't go find All her. All corpse bride with her little roses. <laughs> we come back to find out that across the street, a lady was... Oh, no. This is sad. <gasps> she was kidnapped in, and R word. I don't want to say it. And thrown into the street where multiple cars that passed by ran over her. Since earlier I mentioned that it was a strawberry field, people thought it was a sack full of strawberries, but in reality, it was a lady. Aww. So since my dad was one that passed by on that road that exact day and ran over a piece of the sack that the lady was in, I guess that's the reason why the lady stared at my dad with hatred. I have so Aww. many more stories, but this one will forever live in my head because I just couldn't believe what we had encountered. I hope you guys liked my story. Love you guys. Aww. That's scary. That's scary. So like basically it was a, f a strawberry field. So I guess nobody really paid attention to like what it was in that bag because people were like, oh, it's probably just like strawberries. And the dad assumes that he like ran over her as well because he was driving on the road the day that like they like discovered her body. Oh, that's so scary. That's scary. That reminds me of um <clears throat> up in the mountains in Gilroy. Oh. Remember that story about that if you drove past like a certain area in the, in the middle of the night, supposedly there was like a, a hitchhiker lady that would appear in the back of your truck. You can find that story on Google. Yeah, that's like a real story. Mount Madonna. Um, Is it in Mount Madonna? Yeah. Or the Gilroy Mountains? It's the same fucking mountain. Puta. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mount Madonna is to go to Gilroy. Okay. So if you go to, if you go like Mount Madonna. Hitchhiker lady. Just like Mount Madonna lady in white dress or something like that. Like, I feel like you'll find the stories. But, yeah, there's, like, a lot of stories <sighs> from, like, people um, seeing, like, 
a lady in like a white dress, like hitchhiker vibes. Because these mountains, you guys, it's those mountains are humongous. But mm -hmm. you basically take that mountain to go to like the next city up. Mm -hmm. But um, I have friends who have even like said they like encountered that. Yeah, you just like when you're driving late at night, you either see her walking or sometimes if you're by yourself in your car, she'll appear in like your passenger seat. And she'll, well, I like, haven't heard of that. Yeah, bitch, dude, my tío you. told us that. Oh, shit. I, I guess that. it happened to my tío and it just like jumps on your car and then she'll just like leave. Well, I had heard from my some friends of mine. It was like, I think they said it was like two, almost three in the morning. Very like witching hour vibes. And um, all those dumbasses were driving drunk. Oh. <gasps> So they were like drunk driving and dumbasses don't drink and drive you guys yeah no so i guess they were like already kind of like under the influence and um i guess they like saw this like a white spiritual thing and they were like what the fuck and then i don't know what happened i don't remember the story too well but they all basically freaked out but then they didn't know if like they were tripping because they were drunk but then all of them saw it so then they were like no like this has to be real and like it made them like kind of like fucking swerve and shit but like that scared me because I've like heard about those stories, but knowing that like my friends kind of like encountered it, oh but my it was God. very much like they were like, dude, we, we could have died because obviously they were being dumb and driving Just drunk. Yeah. But then you see something like that, like you could easily lose um, control. control of like the wheel. And, and these, then also like the time of that it was you guys like the, these mountains, there is no like street lights. Oh, or, it's dark. No, it's just pure just need, dark. Yeah. All you have is your headlights. Mm -hmm. And in general, I feel like it's scary to drive on those mountains at night because there's already things like deer and other animals crossing the road. And there is also no, um, ¿cómo se llama? like borders. The, yeah. So you can drive off. the. You could literally mountain. drive off the mountain. It's yeah. so scary. Like towards, towards like once you're like going down, I think there are already like borders. Uh -huh. So once you're like in there, like there definitely is no, like, no si te borders. Guys, te mueres. Yeah. So. But as a little girl, girl, every time we would drive through there, I'd close my eyes. I was like, fuck this. Me too. Like in the night. At night. So then we'd be like, Cause that it was like the quickest way to get to our home in yeah. Watsonville. Uh -huh. So we would always take those. And I was, or I, when I would drive with my friends at night to like get back, like they were like, please don't go through Mount Madonna. But it's because <laughs> it was the quickest way. Yeah. Cause if you go with the one on one fog, around. that shit was like an extra 20 minutes. Yeah. So then I was like, sorry about it. I was, <laughs> yeah, like, fuck. I was like, I'll give her a drive. Babe, you want to ride babes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I've always said you guys, if I ever encounter like something like that or someone telling me to like, Give him a ride or something really late at night. I would not stop. Fuck no. I'll call the cops, but not so much to be like, I saw a ghost or whatever it is. But <laughs> just be like, I just saw somebody. Can y'all go like double check? Go check like, on them. Y'all do that. That's your job. But like, mm -hmm. I will not pull over for whatever it is. Like, I don't care. I'm sorry. One time I was, um, uh, I was already doing social media and I was, I already had my Porsche mm -hmm. and I was in Watsonville and I was getting ready to go to my greenhouse, the house that I lived in before mm -hmm. I moved to SoCal. And this was really late at night. I was with Travis. I had left my mom's house. So I think I stayed really late. It was like 1 or 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. And I was driving back home. And some lady was in the middle of the road. Just ran up going towards the airport. You know that really long oh, airport yeah, road? Yeah. She was just in the middle of the street. And she starts waving me down. <gasps> and I was like, oh, fuck no. And I'm like almost to my house. But I just keep driving straight. She literally goes right in the middle of the road. I don't know fuck if I ever you. told you. But she stood right in the middle of the road. And she was like, hey. Help! Help! And I was like, "Fuck that!" And I just swerved around her. Especially because you had Travis in there. And I, I got know. home and I was like, oh, "Fuck!" Like, should I have stopped? But I was like, "No, bitch! I don't know what's going on with her." But I had my son. My son is my priority. What if it was a trap and they were gonna kidnap yes, that's me? What I was gonna say. Or what if, like, I don't know. What if she was a ghost? Fuck no. I was gonna say it goes beyond like even just like what if it's a ghost? It's like you never know if it's like a a trap or you know. So people are always just, like doing things to like trick people into getting into something yeah so it goes beyond like oh my god it might be a ghost it's just like yeah no like, and it was I, I late wouldn't. at night so i was like mm -mm. i was like i'll let somebody else deal with it and it was actually right in front of like the fire station area oh, so man. i was like they're gonna see her eventually someone's gonna see herself so like not my problem <laughs> i <laughs> don't even scared. call the cops fuck no i got scared i just <laughs> ran inside my health no bitch it, it, that reminds me one time in watsonville también um you know that road by the red church the red church st patrick's yeah but like going all the way straight as if you're going to like say fucking um ramsey Park, uh -huh, just uh -huh. that, by like grocery outlet yeah 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 so in that road dude one time i was driving with yami <gasps> it was me yami and i think andrea was with me it was a third person with me and it was raining at night so this is when like i had just kind of gotten like my my car so i was always driving the girls at night we were always going everywhere Aww. it was hella late at night 
and it's raining so you already can't perfectly see when it's like raining because uh-huh. your wind wipers and the rain or whatever and bitch right there you know how like there's the road going this way and the one going this way uh-huh. and then right in the middle there's like there's you just like, have like trees and stuff uh-huh yeah so i was driving we were all just like talking or whatever and then from a distance i kind of see like a hand like this <gasps> and i was just like bitch is that a hand and then yummy's like <gasps> like yummy gets scared Bitch, as I'm getting closer, this person, because the first thing that came into my head is not ghost. Even now, I'm not sure it was a ghost. It's just more like, what the fuck or who the fuck? They're going like this. And I was like, bitch, I'm not about to stop. This person jumps like in front of my car, <gasps> like just straight up comes out. And we all scream. And I go Vroom, like, oh, I hell swish, no. swerve to the other lane. Luckily, there was nobody on the other lane because it was more of like an instinct, like of like move. But this person jumps out and just stands there. It's oh, not, hell they no. don't jump on the street and are like, help me. Like first it's a hand. And then I'm like, what the fuck? Like, am I tripping? And then they jump on the street and just stand there. And it makes me like swerve. And I freak the fuck out. The girls start screaming. They like cover their eyes. <gasps> and then eventually like, I keep driving. Cause like I said, like I've already like had that in my head. I was like, I don't care what happens. Like I will not stop for real. And I drive away and I was fucking freaked out. We're all like, what the fuck was that? And a few things came into my mind. I wouldn't say it was like a ghost because it wasn't like a ghostly figure. Like it okay. looked like a, a human to me. But then I was just like, one, it was either like, like somebody, we had a lot of like drogaditos, drogaditos like walking around and stuff who were always trying to get into people's business and causing problems. <laughs> but um, I low key feel like it would, it would have been like, I don't know if you remember that one lady that was always going into like restaurants and t- throwing shit and like just acting the crazy. The one that died? I was in the same. Yeah. But I was like, I don't know if it was that very much like I like I want to end things right now or if it was just someone trying to freak me out or I don't know. But I literally uh, always freak me out. And then a week later, that's when that lady passed away. So there was this lady. If you guys are from Watsonville, you're going to remember her. She was um, pobrecita. She had like mental health issues and mm-hmm. she had um, I think she had. Uh, what's the one where you get scared all the time? Yeah. Uh there's a mental health illness where you're constantly scared and you feel like somebody's chasing you always. Que siempre te mm-hmm. están buscando. She had that because they said it after she passed away. And um, it was all over the newspaper because everybody knew that lady from Watsonville because she was always, like Louis said, going into restaurants, trashing things, just going, like in angry the, all the time. going in the middle of the street, cussing out people. Like she was just like crazy. And one of the times she ran to the middle of the street having an episode and they ran over her. La yeah. And that kind of happened after what I experienced. Mm-hmm. So when I heard that, I think my dad was like, like, pobrecita, like she got ran over. And then I was like, oh. and then I told my parents, I was like, oh, my God, like, I don't know if it was the same person, but that was really sad. Like, because mm-hmm. sometimes when you're obviously going through something like that, schizophrenic, she was schizophrenic. Uh, there we go. Sometimes when you're going through things like that, obviously they can't tell what's like real or what's not real. Yeah. So I don't know if it was that, that, I don't, I don't know, but it was just, that was scary and it reminded me of that. May she rest in peace. I know. Pobrecita. Okay. So I think this is going to be our last story that we share or maybe not. We'll see. But this one says, hi, I would like to be anonymous. All right. Mm-hmm. So, hola, this is the scariest shit that has ever happened to me. And sorry if it's long and if I misspelled anything, I'm pretty not smart. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyways. We moved into this house when I was around 11 years old and there was a room all the way down in the hallway, which was my oldest sister's room and some weird shit would happen to her. Hey, yo, Adzi. <laughs> it's on me. That's why I said like, keep it anonymous. <laughs> she even says I'm pretty not smart. I know. Yeah, it is you. Like she would be on the floor doing her makeup and then all of a sudden her bed would creak and sink in one place. Like if someone sat down watching her do her makeup. Oh, shit. Oh, like one of the spots of the bed yeah. would sink. I thought like the bed would sink into the floor. Me too. I was <laughs> like, what? The fuck? <laughs> All casual, it's sinking again. <laughs> I know. I was like, just leave it. Um, the doorknob in the back room would wobble, like if someone was trying to open it. And when no one was in there, her TV would turn on by itself and turn up full blast while we were at school. And it was just my dad in the house. Years went by. She moved out and I got her room. Oh, oh hell no. Mm-hmm. It was cool. At at literally. It was cool at first. I wasn't scared. But then I started getting depressed. <gasps> oh, no. Like draining her. Because you know how like bad vibes drain you. Yeah. Fighting with my mom all the time. Not wanting to eat and sneaking out a lot. <gasps> 
Bitch, all us. For real? <laughs> like, maybe we did have demons. Uh-huh. One night, my mom had this scary dream about me. In her dream, I was around seven years old. And in the dream, I told her, Mommy, I'm scared of the man in the hallway. And she, to- she told me to say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I rebuke you. And I was trying to say it, and she said my face started turning all demonic, and then I bit her pinky in her dream. What the fuck? She woke up screaming and holding her pinky. She looked down, and there was a little kid bite mark. Bitch. I got a pic. <gasps> she she didn't a send pic? the picture. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. I Mind you, I was 15, and my brother was 13 at the time. We had our adult teeth. <gasps> so someone literally bit her. Bitch. Anyways, while she was having the dream, I was in my room watching some YouTube, watching Yancey and Louis. I'm just <laughs> kidding. Then all of a sudden, this cold air came rushing towards me, and they also had the heater on. My mom came busting into my room and told me to, to, to come sleep with her in her room. My tío came to the next day to sage the house, and once he got into my room, the sage burst into flames, and it turned into smoke. Bitch. My family contacted family from Mexico to tell them what happened. They talked to a witch doctor, a curandera, and she told them I have <gasps> oh, wow. I have a curse of a duende. She was the cursed fuck? by a duende. I never heard of that. She said, I have a curse of duende. They came and put holy water around my room. You literally smelt all the nasty negativity energy burning. Oh, shit. She said it attached to me for being vulnerable. And it was trying <gasps> to make me ruin the relationship between me and my mom because we are so close. Ew, I hate that. She gave me remedies to do. I went to church and I prayed. I did everything she told me to do to help me. Eight years later, I feel like something is still there, but it doesn't <gasps> bother me. It follows me everywhere I go, but I don't feel any negativity entities. I'm the happiest I've ever been. I have a lot more scary stories. LOL, happy Halloween. Oh my God, that gave me chills. I don't like that. The fact that she said that she still feels like she's something there, yeah. but whether it's good or bad, but that's like not. But she just doesn't mind it anymore. She's like, mm, it's still there. Oh my God. Oh hell no, bitch. That is scary as fuck. And I'm scared of the windows, you guys. I'm I don't, terrified I don't like of the windows. idea of like, uh, that's why I've never even had like little gnomes in my house. Help me like either, that, dude. I feel like they're going to move at night. I'm like, they're the windows. Oh, that one gave me a headache. Do you want to do one more? Um, I don't know if we're going to have time for it. Oh, shit. Yeah, I didn't check the time. <laughs> that was good, though, dude. Oh, that was that got me good. I, like I think that. all the stories that we read were, were were good. And I'm telling you, I skimmed very vaguely, so I had no idea what any of these stories were. Oh, yeah. And oh it's crazy because, like, there's even, like, with us, I have, like, so many scary stories. I kind of just spark up and, like, I remember as we're, like, reading all yeah, these. Yeah, I remember this. And I'm just like, oh, shit. But thank you guys for submitting your stories and allowing yes, us to so much. share them and read them. I, I, I don't know. I get so scared about things like that, but I'm always fascinated by it. Not because I'm like, oh, I love demons and shit, but no. it's just I truly do believe in, like, ghosts and stuff like that so uh-huh. it's always crazy to me that there's like another dimension to our universe i don't that's know that's crazy. just kind of the way i see it literally or i've seen um and like shows and stuff like i don't know how real it is but how for ghosts like we share the, the world looks the same but for them everything's just like on the other dimension like it's for like example the shadow world there you go yes like they're they see what we see but they're just like on the other on side. On the upside down of like earth. They're on the yeah. bottom saying the same thing. Like a mere reflection. Or I've also seen, for example, like when people play like the Ouija board Ooh. or they play like games like that or like where they want or they do stuff to like open that portal. Uh-huh. I've seen how like for ghosts sometimes, say you're a ghost. All you see is like a dark room. It's just mm-hmm. like black, like you're, you're a lost soul somewhere. And when somebody opens the portal or it's like a candle lit, that's like the portal. Oh. They see that from a distance and that's how you end up having an encounter with like a ghost because imagine being in a dark room, they see that and they're like, oh, it's like how they say follow the light or something. <gasps> yeah. So they end up going to that and that's how you welcome them into our dimension. Like oh, you're just like there. shit. That's and I was like, so oh, that's scary. scary. Like, yeah, because I'm always like, how does that work? Like, why a candle? But it's like when you're looking for it and some, a ghost like finds it or something. No wonder they always there. put candles and stuff. Yeah, like that's kind of, well, because it's a light for them on the other side. Oh, Fucking shit. Fucking terrifying, huh? Uh, yeah. Well, that was a very spooky first <laughs> episode. Yes. I hope you guys liked it, but let us know what other spooky content you guys want us to do. We have, mm-hmm. I think, four episodes for this month. Month of October. So let us know what kind of episode you guys want us to do next. And we're down. 
Yeah. Thank you guys so much for listening and for your stories. Hope y'all yes. enjoyed this. Let us know what y'all thought in the comment section below and which one you thought was the scariest. The scariest. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. Bye.